I think just going in there and doing our job, uh, you know, doing it to the best of our ability and, and uh, you know, just coming out with the win. You know, Baylor had a lot of success in the run game early on this past week. What were they doing uh, that helped them uh, establish that? Uh, they were just pretty much, you know, doing a lot of counters, but reversing it and turning around and coming back the opposite way. So um, usually when we see that look, we kind of just, you know, go fast and shoot our gaps, but, you know, we had to stay patient and that's what uh, our second uh, half adjustment was. What was that halftime like with Coach Gillespie? Is he at the board drawing it up or uh, talking through, talking you through it? How's it going? Yeah, he uh, pretty much just drew it up, drew up all the plays that uh, he felt like we needed to correct and, and just went from there. Can you, can you talk about this team, this whole team's belief in Max Huggins and what he does? Yeah, everybody believes in uh, Max uh, for sure. You know, he's a confident player and he has, you know, a lot of maturity to him and he's been here for four years. so. Um, yeah, I think everyone on the team is there to support him, and you know uh, he's been doing great for us. What does what does he show a team when he goes through what he did before the season? When he's the starter, who all of a sudden is not the starter, somebody gets hurt, he's back in that role, and what he's done since then. What does that say about a guy? Uh, it just you know shows his character. He's going to show up to work whether he has a job or not. And you know when you have a teammate like that, you know it makes the whole team special. So, did y'all ever notice anything different when you threw all that, or was it the same Max throughout? Um, you know. He improved in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, I think he just, you know, his attention to detail was the biggest thing, and he's been doing it ever since. D versus some of that 11 12 personnel against Baylor, you had a lineup on the line scrimmage. You know, we is that something you're comfortable with that you enjoy doing instead of playing off the ball? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, it's very different from my style of play. I kind of like to stay deep and you know, kind of use my speed to get around the big guys. But you know, if I have to, you know, stuff my nose in a D gap, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do that as well. Pass West this too, but was there any point from when this new coaching staff arrived that you felt like you knew things were going to be different? Was there a moment or any kind of thing like that you can remember? Yeah, it was the first day that they showed up here when Sonny Dykes landed in the stadium. He came in here and he told us, you know, this is going to be y'all's team. And, you know, Coach Cos kind of gave us a little speech about, you know, we need a culture shift. And um, they've been doing just that, coming in here, you know, just switching everything up and you know, everyone fell in love with it. The Lakeford defense preparing for the nation's leading receiver in receptions, Hutchinson, got 105 catches. What's that like in preparation and how you approach a receiver like that? Yeah, you know, I'm, I play linebacker, so um, I just pretty much focus on the uh, you know, running back and quarterback and the line. So, you know, all the guys, I'm sure Trey and, and Josh Noon uh, will help handle that situation. Could you, could you even put in perspective what is the most important change in culture? What is the most important? Like the individual thing that changed culture on us? Yeah, it was a, just discipline. We had, you know, a, a lot of immaturity on the team, and you know, kind of, you know, individuals here and there, you know, and it, they just kind of just brought us all together and, and made us, you know, a whole team, and that's what we needed. As you guys have won more and more games, people nationally have talked more about you, and you hear some critics say, well, who they beat them? They're in the Big Twelve. Um, it's like it's just ridiculous about TCU football. How do you guys talk about it unless you're starving? Uh, we kind of just let the outside noise, you know, talk and, and not let that kind of, you know, get us out of our circle. And we know what we have to accomplish. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. What does it mean to kind of hit this program back to kind of where it was for several years before, you know, the last couple of years? What, what does it feel like to get it to that point? Knowing that you guys aren't only setting it for now, but for several years together. Yeah, it means a lot, you know, uh, to, to be the first team, uh, Coach Sonny Dykes, you know, coached and, and to start a new legacy uh, here, it means a lot to, you know, start off 11 and 0, and you know, move forward. Indeed, this these Iowa State games are always physical. It feels like mm -hmm. uh, they always have a big offensive line. Give us some sense of, as to what you have to do to be successful against them this week. Yeah, we, you know, they're a big tight end uh, team. You know, they like to throw in a couple 13. You know, heavy personnel. Um, they use their tight ends a bunch, so we're going to need, you know, to shut down their their tight ends and definitely their run game as well. D, can you talk about uh, what you've seen from Shattered Banks and his development, you know, filling in a little bit during your absence and somebody did a great job? Yeah, Shad Banks, you know, he comes in, he works hard. You know, he's getting better each and every week. Um, you know, he came in during Texas and kind of played the role pretty well. And I think Coach Gillespie was surprised. And, you know, it's me too as well. So, um, you know, he's a great player, you know, a great teammate, and I'm proud of him. You, you guys run together? Oh, we do. <laughs> what, what, what are those conversations like on the road? Oh, uh, you know, I just kind of like, uh, Prepped him up pretty pretty much when I, when he knew he was going in the game. You know, I told him kind of 
you know, you're going to play good. Just kind of give him some confidence, you know, and he, and he did just that. So, he did pretty good. What are you watching on TV in the room? Uh, honestly, we watch, like, these, like, TCU predictions versus whoever we're about to play that week. So, we kind of just hear all the noise that they talk about and it kind of motivates us to play. Anything else for D?